Baby, what is it? What is what? What is what? You're asking me what is it? Why did you bring oh, me out? Shut up. You're a very wicked man. Yes. What are you talking about? Why did you bring me out here? I have people to talk to. And people I want to attend to in the office. You have people to talk to? Yes. And I'm a goat. Am I not a person? Come eh? On, baby, you should understand what I'm saying. Don't baby me. I beg, don't, don't do that one with me. Mr. Ruby, you had the guts to fail me in the test. Ah. And you gave Sandra all those calls. Like, how could you do that to me? Why? Come on, baby, listen. I did nothing to Sandra's result. What she wrote is what she got. I know she's a brilliant student. So it's not my making. So you even lie now. You're Why? a blatant, pathetic liar, Mr. Principal. I regret you. You're a very stupid man. So you now lie to me. You don't only cheat on me, you lie to me as well. God will punish you for this nonsense that you just said now. Are you okay? Eh? Am, am I mad? There's something wrong with you. Uh -uh. Something is wrong with you. Why did you fail me? You were not able to write anything. You had scorched it was empty. This is the first time you've been fixing it. So fix this one. What, this, I will not warn you again. This is fix, beyond fix, me. Fix this, this, one. this is beyond me. You won't see me again. Fix this. I don't want to come back. Fix nonsense. We didn't know. We didn't know. Come, I said that nonsense. Come on, baby. Calm, I am, I am, I am calm smarter down. Just a test. and clever than this. Calm down. This is just a test. test. You better fix this. One. I will just calm down. Don't touch me. Get your baby, hands off me. Shut up. Get your hands off me. Am I that dumb to you? Come and say that trash to the birds and not me. Because I'm clever than that. Excuse me. Fix the choice is yours. Just wisely. It's your choice. What in people they do, they make me sure. I never see anybody when they're selfish like you. The principal. doing here? Amanda. Yes. Why? Why are you late to school? Why am I late to school? Are you asking me that? <laughs> Have you forgotten I'm the senior school prefect of the school? I can come to school whenever time I want. Mm -hmm. uh, wait. What am I seeing? You're wearing lashes to school. Ah. Uh, Do you have an issue with that? Anyway, who will talk? Nobody will talk now. Nobody will talk. Mm -hmm. Thank God you know that. I can see where your guns are coming from. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Before Madame Philo will pounce on you. Oh, Philomena, you mean? What is she going to do? Teacher Philo, not Philomena. Whatever. Your Talk teacher. To... She can't. Let's go. Mm -mm. Later, please. Thank you. Let's go now. After you. Madame, let's go. The senior prefect is back. So I asked the class again, who can mention types of plants? Uh, good morning, Jeffrey. Oh, come back here. Me? Come. No, me! Me! Um, Talma, you can return to your seat. What is it by the time? Ten forty-five. Ten forty-five. A.M. A.M. Yes. Really? And you're coming to my class by this time of the morning, right? Really? Or do you expect me to walk you down to your seat as your bodyguard? Tell me. Mom, I didn't say that. You said that by yourself. I didn't say Oh, really? I said that by myself? Really? Now make a U-turn and leave my class this minute. Excuse me, ma'am. You heard me. Leave my class this minute! Take a walk. Fine. 
I'll just leave. Rubbish. God forsaken idiot. I'm sorry, class. Um, so we're on plans, right? Okay, let's go back there. The choice is yours, just wisely. It's your choice. What think people they do, they make me shock. I never see anybody when they selfish like me. Be this man. I think very well. All these things you are doing. Be this man. Why are you so mean? Why are you so upset you? What is the problem? Talk to me. Come on, sit down. What's the problem? What is it? Who upset you? Philomena. Or should I say it to Philomena? She insulted me today before my classmate. She walked me out of her class because I came in just 30 minutes late. I mean, who does that? Come on, baby. No, it's wrong. Why would we be late 30 minutes to school? 30 minutes? Why? Oh, wait, are you siding with her? Take it easy, I'm not siding with her. Please sit down. Leave. Baby, sit down. Come on, sit down. Sit down. Okay, you win. What do you want? What do you want me to do? Just tell me what you want me to do. No, you're talking. Talk to me. Okay. Because she insulted the senior prefect girl of the school, this is what I want you to do to her. Mm -hmm. You will increase her working hours by two. She will work from morning till night. No break. Until I am satisfied. It's done. Understood. It's done. My baby. baby. Then what is my price? For punishing her. Can I always do something for me? <laughs> now. My gift. For obeying your command. So what's my gift? You know I always ready to give you something, huh? Mm -hmm. Just have a sec. Wow. Where have you been? What do you mean where have I been? Or did someone tell you I went missing? No, <laughs> wait. I, I came outside looking for you and I, I didn't see you anywhere, so... Uh -huh. Where were you? I was in the principal's office. I see. So, why is your face like this? I mean, why are you panting? Well, he accepted to grant my request, so I decided to give him a free gift, breakfast. Free gifts, request. What request is that? Yes. So as I was saying, mm -hmm. he decided to increase Philomena's working hours. Times two. Yes. Because why would she insult me? I mean, look at me. The senior prefect girl of this day. That one had the guts to walk me out of her class. Because of what? Because I came 30 minutes late. Who does that? This one they exist. Yeah. Babe. You can never change. Why would I change? Nobody in this school who insults me and goes scot free. Anyways, how was the boring lectures? My dear, as usual. Miss Ubersan. She always taught us everything. Like mm. the whole textbook. She was busy answering all the questions. Like you, you know, you know her way now. Thank God, sir, I know attend the class. Where are you going? Where are you? 
I did it, I did do my best yo. I make sure I become the best yo. But Prince Baru, my effort. He make sure I become the naughty no. Sandra, you don't seem happy. What's wrong? It's nothing. Your mom, right? Obviously. She's still tormenting me, reminding me of my failures in school. You don't need to take what your mom said to you to heart. You and I know how brilliant and intelligent you are in your studies. Look at me. If no one knows this, I know this because we've been friends for a while now. You do not get it, Jessica. Yes, I'm brilliant and intelligent, but how can that even be? There is no proof about it. There's no proof about my intelligence. This is the third time I'm repeating SS3. It's been three years, Jessica. I'm supposed to be out of this school by now. It's okay. Cheer up. Besides, we have text in the next two days. So look at me. Look. This is not the right time for you to get upset or get worried about what your mom said. This is the time to concentrate on our studies. Read hard and pass our exams. At least you will prove to your mom that this year is different. At least now that she's not in the country. You are right. So let's go and read, okay? Don't take it to heart. Well, he came to me, but I don't like him. He's not my type. Now I've got my eyes on someone else. Of course, you don't need to tell me. I know. Oh. Hey, right. Hello, beautiful ladies. How are you? Please, gently, don't step on my new shoes. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm fine. Um, Amanda, how are you? Fine. Come on. Um, I see you guys are having a good time. <laughs> Can you just give me a minute? Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, sir. Um, Amanda, see you. Do you have to leave? Um, <laughs> you can... Just Don't a worry. minute. It won't, it won't hurt. It's just a friendly conversation. Uh, it's okay, sir. Right. Yeah. Amanda, why don't you focus on us, our relationship? Rather than what's whatever you're having with Mr. Romeo. Yeah. So you're still asking for a response. Wow. Sorry, Mr. Kingsley. I am not interested. For the obtained time, I do not like you, so stay away from me. You call him an old man. But I like them old and weak so I can easily manipulate. So I don't mind, it's my choice. And you are not. Amanda, so you now draw comparisons between me and that old good-for-nothing man? No, Mr. Kingsley, I do not. I don't, because you're no match to him. You're answerable to him. And he answers to me. So really tell me, what do I need you for? Of course you need me for everything because I'm young, I am handsome, and I have potentials. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I do. It's a pity because you're not. You're weak. You're not my type. We'll see to that, Amanda. Amanda, we'll see to that. We have nothing to see about, Kingsley. <laughs> you will never be my type. <laughs> I love the principle. I do not like you. And I will never like you. <laughs> now take that back home. Sleep over it. Excuse me. Amanda, I'm going to get you. Hook like sinker. I'm going to get you. <sighs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> I I can see you've got your eyes on her. <sighs> From the way you sound, you sound like you have your eyes on her as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The good news is, let's see who gets her first. Mm. Is that a bet? <laughs> Mr. Badhead, let's see who gets her first. <laughs> All right. If that is a bet, fine. Let's see who gets her first. Watch me. Watch me. Sometimes, what in people they do, they make me shock. I never see anybody when they're selfish like you. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. I'm Copper Williams and this is Copper Teshi. Oh, nice to meet you. I see you're heading to school already. Uh, yes, I am headed to school. Okay, we are also heading to St. James Grammar School. Oh, St. James? Yes, so I don't mind if you hop in and lead the way. That is my school, so I don't mind. I can... Okay, come so in. You want me to come in? Sure, come in. I should yes. come in. come in, come in. Thank you very well. Thank you. All right. Why are you so mean? Why are you so wicked? Why are you so mean? Why are you so wicked? You make me cry. Thank you very much, Amanda. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Um, please, where's the principal's office? Oh, the first door on your left. Okay. Oh. Yes, yes. Alright, thank you. Um, Amanda, right? Yes, Amanda. Why are you coming to school this late? It's almost 9 a.m. You're late. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I was busy at home. Oh. But the good thing is I'm in school right now. Okay. So I think I should. Alright, All right. the, the principal's office, yes. Alright. To thank the you. office. Yeah. Why are you so wicked? Why are you so mean? Why are you so wicked? You're welcome. Thank you, sir. You know why we're here. I just want to introduce the new coppers to you. They are sent by the government to be with us temporarily. And um, I need your corporations to cooperate with them and show them the environment. Whatever they don't know, you put them through. This is Copper Williams and Copper Teshi. Williams, Sir. Teshi, meet our teachers. Teacher Philomena, yes. Teacher Chid, and Teacher Kensley. Yes. The pleasure is mine. They are the SS3 teachers we have in this school. And there is Teacher Gift. She is on maternity leave. So she's not around. And then there is a Christian and Awelia. They just got married and went for the honeymoon. Congratulations to them. Congratulations. You are welcome. This is our school. Hmm? You are welcome. Feel You're free. Welcome. All right. Yes. You are welcome. Thank you. Congratulations. My sister, congratulations. Please, um, all we need is your best, okay? And we'll cooperate with you. All right. All right. We'll put it through, okay? okay. Thank all right. You. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Ah, they are all our SS3 teachers. And that is the class we will be taking. Because Christian and Ewele, Christian is taking uh, our English class. And Ewele is taking the biology class. So, Williams, you will take over the English class while you take over the biology class. Well, let me take you to the classrooms so that you can acquaint with the students. Okay, right. thank Please. you, sir.
Did you see the male couple today? Mike, he's so handsome. Amanda, mm -hmm. stop admiring him. He's not your own. <laughs> he's a copper. Which one is a copper? That's small boy. Wait, oh. it's like you're forgetting who I am. Me, Amanda. Don't worry, I'll get him. I know how to get him. He's <laughs> that small copper. Hmm. And what if your confidence fails you this time around? Good afternoon, class. During the assembly in the morning, you were introduced to these coppers, and I'm here again to do the same thing, to introduce them to you as your class teachers. This is Copper William and Copper Tessie. Copper William here will be taking you in biology classes, while Copper Tessie will be taking you in English classes. They are here to take over from Awele and Christian, whom you know that we are married just last that day, and the government decided to send new coppers to take over from them so that you will continue with your classes. I want you to cooperate with them. Don't be rude to them. Make sure that whatever they tell you to do is what you do. Copper Williams, Sorry. here is Amanda. She is the school prefect and also the class prefect here. So you work with her, she will be able to take things from you. Like I told you, henceforth, they are your new biology and English teachers. Cooperate with them. You can acknowledge with them, let them go back to my office. All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Good afternoon, beautiful students. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, beautiful students. Good afternoon. All right, I think we'll begin with an introduction. I am Copper Williams and this is Copper Teshi. And you are? My name is Obi. Okay. I'm Jessica. And you? Sandra. You? Dana. And you? Princess. You? Princess. You? Princess. You? Ah! Amanda. Amanda. Papa Williams. Greetings, Papa Williams. Uh, yeah. How are you? I'm fine. Um, sir, do you have a minute? Okay, no problem. Okay, so I want to thank you for the lifts you rendered me today. At least I could get to school earlier than expected. But that's not a problem at all. Well, I should be thanking you. Well, you know, I didn't even know my way around here, but you actually gave a helping hand. Thank you very much. It's nothing, sir. I mean, what I love. Well, no, no, what is teacher and student's relationship for if I ah, cannot... Um... I understand, I understand. Um, Kopateshi is in your class teaching right now. Kopateshi? Yeah. Yes, 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 she's in my class. Uh, you, you should be in the classroom right now. You know, it's not really right for you to be outside by this time. Uh, I want to ask you to go to the classroom. Oh, yes. Yes, sure, the classroom. Sure. sure, sir. The classroom. Uh, I'll get to see you some other time, huh? Some other time. Yeah, yeah. Classroom, eh? Sorry. Sometimes, what in people they do, they make me shock. I never see anybody when they say fish like you. The principal. Think very well, all these things you are doing. The principal. Why are you so mean? Why are you hey, I am so happy for teacher Willie. To be announced for son and wife. My dear, that woman deserves the best. She's a nice woman, so she deserves everything good in her marriage. And I wish them well. Yes, you're right. You're right. You're right. You know, um, Philomena, what everyone prays for is to have 
a good lady like our lady to settle down with. You know? And I'm praying to God that whenever I want to settle down, God should give me someone like Awele. Don't go and settle down. So you want me to remain single like this? Uh, get married to who? Better enjoy this singlehood with me. Because I am not getting married any soon. Copa William, you're welcome to our school. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, Copa William. Are you sure you're enjoying this environment? I am. I'm, I'm, I'm sure enjoying the environment. I doubt, Williams. I doubt. From the look on your face, you are not okay. You are not comfortable. Of course, I'm fine. I'm enjoying the environment. Um, it's a peaceful place. It's beautiful. I like it. But something bothers me. And which is? Can I confide in you guys? Sure, you yeah, can. Sure, sure. Okay. Um, the thing is. Um, the principal said something. He introduced the girl to, to me the other time as the class prefect, at the same time the senior prefect. So I'm just trying to decipher where is this dawn that one person can assume the position of two different persons when we have lots of intelligent students around the school. <coughs> Damn question. Well, Copper Williams. We don't have the right to question the authorities of the principal. He does what best suits him. So you know who you're going to channel the question to? That is for the principal. Um, Copper Williams, I will advise you focus on what brought you to this school. The choice is yours, choose wisely. It's your choice. What in people they do, they make me shock. I never see anybody. Baby, how are you? Come on. Oh, stop! Maybe you've forgotten that you're in your school premises. Come on, baby, what's your problem? Why are you harassing me that way? Stop pretending. She knows what my problem is. And what is it? Say it, let me solve it. You promised to send my name to the ministry for promotion. And up till today, I have not received any mail. When did you check your email last? No, tell me, when did you check your email last? I don't know. You don't know a teacher. You don't know when to check your email. And you are here blabbing. Your promotion letter should be in your inbox by now. Yes. Really? I may. Come on, oh, come on. Baby. Give me my team. <sighs> I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. Why? We'll go to your hotel. Stop yeah, being there. Nice. Even if they see nothing, I'm the principal. I have all the power in this school. I can do it. Come on. Come Let's on. go inside. Let me take just one quick one. One quick one. One. Okay. 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 Come on. That's Forget why. it. Nobody is doing anything. Okay. One quick one. I like the lady copper. She's beautiful and peaceful. Mm. <laughs> I like her too. Imagine the way she was teaching us in class. Mm. Well, I also like her. Really? In fact, I like the way she speaks. She's mm. eloquent. She's ah, her intonation <laughs> is dope. Really? Mm. I can't wait to be a lecturer. Yeah, I want to be a lecturer in my future. I love teaching. Mm. Mm. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Your dreams can actualize only if you work hard. Mm. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon, Nadi and um, Jessica. Would you mind I speak to your friend just for a minute? Okay. Sandra, will please. She will join you guys. Yeah, Sandra. Sandra, Sandra, why are you doing this to yourself, not me? I have thrown my proposal at your table and you're rejecting me each time. Why? You know what a repercussions can be? It will be very disastrous for you. Would you want to fail again? Now the S is two, now meet up with you. And you know what that means. This is going to be the fourth consecutive time you'll be repeating SS3 class. 
I cannot accept your proposal. Did I hear you clearly? You cannot accept my proposal. Okay. Wait for the words. Sandra, wait for the words. The ball is in your court. You have two months to make amends. Else, you will repeat over and over and over again. My man. Um, Kinsley. Alpha. Yeah. <laughs> I hope she's okay. We were having a nice conversation before she saw you, and boom, I'm not swinged. So I wouldn't know. All right, I have class to attend. Oh, busy with the class. The choice is yours, choose wisely. It's your choice. What in people they do, they make me shine. Yes. I'm so happy you guys answered his questions correctly. We are not like some dull students. <laughs> it's okay, Jessica. Please don't make a jest. Sandra, please. I didn't mention anybody's name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she comes. Why are you so wicked? Cry cry mama. You make me cry 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 mama. You make me cry. You. What was the meaning of what you just did earlier in class? What did I do? What did I do? You're so pretentious and crummy. And I hate that about you. You want to act like you're ignorant about what I'm saying. Huh? I really have no idea of what I did. <laughs> Why did you belittle my friend in front of the copper? Since you don't know. Belittle? I just answered the question that was asked in class. How is that belittling? Or probably you want to show that you know it all. That you are Miss, what do I call you? Intelligence or what? You want to act like you are so intelligent more than every other person. And my friend here is dumb, right? <laughs> <clears throat> Now listen to me. The next time you try to belittle me or embarrass me before Copa Williams, I will mess you up. Hey girl, shut up. You being the prefect of the school does not make you a god. Ah! No, Amanda. I will not watch you hit my friend before me. I will accept your insults because of you are the class prefect, but you cannot hit any of my friends before me. <coughs> Get it. Read your books! <coughs> <coughs> oh. Wait, did you just talk to me like that? Wait, did, did you use that tone on me? Calm down. It's the audacity for me. It's the audacity, can you imagine? I will mess her up. I know exactly what to do. What if I say I know Christ? Shena mumu ne de fell for his amour. I dare read, I dare do my best, yo. I make sure I become the best, yo. But Prince Baru, my effort, he makes sure I become a naughty, no. Sometimes. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you very much, sir. You're most welcome. Um, we appreciate. Me, personally, I appreciate. <laughs> All right. All right, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Um, do you guys stay together? See you in school tomorrow. See you in school tomorrow. I got my confirmation in class today. 
Oh, I see. You know, that girl, she's such a bully. Hmm. And Sandra, she seems very intelligent. And her friend Jessica as well. No wonder they say, show me your friend and I'll tell you where you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's proverb, I understand. Oh. But it doesn't always apply like that. But this one, it's true. Did you see the way she was looking at me so seductively? Oh, you saw that too? Well. Yeah, I did. <laughs> now I get the drift. I noticed that too. Well. Why they made her the, uh, the senior prefect and the class prefect at the same time? You might be right. Don't worry, I'm going to show you something later. And what could that be? Don't be in a haze, I'm going to show you. And what's about... All these things you are doing, the principal. Why are you so mean? Oh, Jesus Christ. It's, it's so unbelievable. I knew it. I knew it that this man has a lot of skeleton in his cupboard. Exactly. This video alone attests to the fact that this man is having a lot of skeleton in his cupboard. We'll figure it imagine. out together. We have to figure this out. Because the principal has a lot to explain to us. Ah, this is so he bad. He really does. This is so bad. He really does. Damn. Oh, you can you imagine? The choice is yours, choose wisely. It's your choice. What in people they do, they make me shock. I never see anybody when they're selfish like you. The principal. I think very well, all these things you are doing. The principal. Why are you so why are you so wicked? Why are you so mean? Why are you so wicked? Cry yo, cry yo, mama, you make me cry yo. Cry yo, cry yo, mama, you make me cry. Cry yo, cry yo, mama, you make me cry. What if I say I know Chris? She na mumu ne de fell for his ammo. I de read, I de do my best yo. I make sure I become the best yo. But Prince Baru my effort. He make sure I become a naughty no. Good afternoon, Sandra. Please sit down. What can I do for you? I would like to have a word with you, sir. I am listening. I want to know the reason the most intelligent and brightest students in the class get bad grades. Why the dumb men get good grades all the time? Well, the simple. There is something she knew that you are not aware of. I do not understand, sir. Do you want to understand? Be my girl. If you become my girlfriend, whatever you want, Whatever you desire you get, I will give you whatever you want. Listen, that is what she does to pay away for herself. I give her whatever she wants. I give her money. I met her the senior prefect of this school. I met her the prefect of your class. If you accept to be my girl, I will retrieve the prefect of your class and give it to you. Yes. Sorry, Sabo. I cannot do this just to... Start getting good grades and start paving way for myself. When my parents are suffering and getting money to pay my school fees, I cannot do that, sir. Young lady, it's called using what you have to get what you want. Unless you want to remain in this school for the next 10 years. That's left for you. Why are you so mean? Why are you so weak? You make me cry. Sandra. Why are you wearing this long face? Anyways, I just want to let you know that you shouldn't bother about your failure on this school anymore. So long you have me here. So, how did you know that was the reason for my mood swing? Well, I eavesdropped on your conversation with the principal earlier today. But that shouldn't bother you. That is what I've been passing through in this school for the past three years now. Well, all that doesn't matter anymore now. 
you'll be fine. And know this, whatever he said to you, the principal, do not allow it to bother you or your friends. Do you understand me? I'm here for you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I think you're very well. All these things you're doing, the principal. Why are you so mean? Why are you so wicked? Why are you so mean? Why are you so wicked? Okay, class. Um, who can tell me the author of this novel, Purple Hibiscus? Okay, wanna give it a try? Alright. Okay. Hmm? What did you say? <laughs> Are we here for child's play? Sit down! Who can tell me the author of this novel? And you are here playing around. Sandra, can you give us a try telling us the author of this novel? Purple Tigers. Please stand. Wow. What did she say? Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. Is it very difficult for you to pronounce? Come on, give her a hand of applause. Another one. Come on, students. Baby, what is it? Don't you dare. Don't even call me that. You cheat. What have I done? Why are you calling me a cheat? What have I done? Yeah. Look how pathetic you look. You good for nothing, man. Come on. You think I didn't see you? I saw you. You love her, right? Amanda, you're beautiful. I can't see myself loving another in this school except you. Oh my god. Yeah. Amanda, you're so dumb. Come on, don't say that. Because how did I fall for this? Amanda. Amanda, it's you I love. It's me you love? Yes. I love you with all my heart. So how do we call that? It was a Agape most, love. It was I a misunderstanding. Shut up. <laughs> Hello? Get your hands of me. Are you high or something? Yes, I'm high in love because I love you. I love your ancestors. Get out! Get out of here! An in intruder. Rubbish. Don't mind him. He's just an intruder. Come on. Fix this. I don't want this being a mess to me. Jessica knows. And I believe she's going to tell Sandra. And now this bald headed man. No, so fix it. I will. Get on my side. I, I will do anything for you, Amanda. I... That's... Amanda! I need to fix this. I need to fix this. The choice is yours, just wisely. It's your choice. No, no. It's like he's about to leave. Maybe we should rush and join him so he can drop us at the house. Let's hurry. The principal, I think very well. All these things you are doing. The principal, why are you so mean? Why are you so wicked? Good afternoon, sir. Oh, good afternoon. How are you? Fine, Fine sir. You girls are going home already? Yeah. Come on, hop in. Let me give you a drive home. Okay. Come on in. What are these two up to? What if I say I don't agree? Shall I move on and defer for a summer? I get rich, I get to my best. I make sure. Did you just see what happened? But Prince Baron, my effort. You make sure I become rich. This woman not without witch. In fact, witch. Sometimes, what in people they do, they make me shock. I never see them. What did you do? Why did they give me your bag? What did you do? I don't understand why did they give me your bag? Babe! I don't understand why did they give me your bag? I don't understand why did they give me your bag? I think 
Papa I must speak to Papa Competition. Yes, sir. You say you don't want anything from me? No, thank you. You know you are beautiful. I like your waist and your sexy. Just look at you. Please, sir. Don't allow me to lose respect for you. How will you throw my hands off like that? What's your problem? I'm just trying to admire you. Papa Williams knows that I'm here. So if you do anything stupid, I'll let him know what he just did here to me right now. Come on, baby, it has not got into that. What has come over you? You're not a kid. It has got into that. Do not try this again. Principal. <laughs> Wow, this copper William is trying to become a stumbling block for me. I have to deal with him. No problem. Excuse me, young woman. What were you doing at the principal office? <laughs> and what sort of funny question is that? What do you call him? A principal. And I'm a teacher just like you. And I can visit his office whenever I want to. Young lady, you think you can play smart on me, right? <laughs> anyway, I am here to warn you to stay away from him. Else, you will have me to contend with. When you were seeking for employment from the government to teach in this school, how many did you seek for? Two. Because two? What sort of stupid question is that? Why can't you answer me? Because you're playing a two role in the school right now. A wife and a teacher. How dare, dare you! Don't you dare try this again in your life or else you will like me. You don't look fine to me. Talk to me. You know, you can confide in me. What's going on? Can you imagine? He wants me to sleep with him. <gasps> you know, he tried that with me. I gave him the insult of his life. That's why he doesn't like me. Oh. That's why he doesn't like me at all. I see. You also have to bring down your voice. Oh. But is he how he gives? You have not. Bring down your voice. That man. That man is very hard. And, and he has some cockroaches in his cupboard. And don't worry, soon he will be exposed. I pray so. I never see anybody when they selfish like you, the principal. I think very well all these things you're doing, the principal. Why are you so mean? Why are you so wicked? Why are you so mean? Why are you so wicked? You make me cry. You make me cry. Sometimes, what in people they do, they make me shock. I never see anybody when they're selfish like you. The principal. I 
Think very well, all these things you are doing. Be principal. Why are you so mean? Why are you so wicked? Why are you so mean? You make me cry. Sometimes, what in people they do, they make me sure. I never see anybody when they selfish like you. Amanda, what are you still doing hanging around the school premises? Papa Williams, um, I was about leaving. I, the thing is, um, I stayed back so I can do my homework. Because if I get home, my mom will not give me the chance to. So I had to stay back. Alright, so enjoy yourself. Um, sir, sir, sorry. Um, are you leaving now? Sure, I am. I'm leaving already. Okay. Can, can I join you? Can I... That's not a problem. You can. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, sir, is what of Kopateshi? Is she coming with you? She left earlier. Oh, thank God. No, thank you. Thank you. We can. All right. Thank you. Very well. All these things you are doing. Why are you so why are you so wicked? Why are you so mean? Why are you so weak? You make me cry. You make me cry. You make me cry. You make me cry. Sometimes, what in people they do, they make me shock. I never see anybody when they say fish like you. The principal. I think very well all these things you are doing. The principal. Why are you so mean? Why are you so wicked? Why are you so mean? You make me cry. Cry. Very well, sir. I hope you wrote very well today. Yes, I did. It's something I've been doing before. Okay, that's nice. But then you see, you need to add some more effort to your performance. So you need you need to up your game. You understand? But that's not a problem. I would find a way around it to boost up your energy. Okay? Yes. Thank you, sir. Come on, give me a smiling face. I know you didn't do very well. Can you please smile? Another smile? Give me a smile. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. The principal wants you in his office now. Excuse me, sir. All right. Good day, sir. Good day, Sandra. We are done with the first quarter of the test. Are you ready to accept my proposal? No, sir. I am not ready to accept your proposal. Then be ready to fail, as usual. That will never happen. Do you know why, Mr. Romeo? Because Sandra here is the most intelligent girl in SS3. Copper William. It's wrong for you to intrude into someone's privacy. And as a copper, you should know that. I will never allow you to humiliate these girls again. None of these girls will accept your proposal to sleep with them. Copper William, mind your choice of words to me. I will not allow you to continue with your evil act, Romeo. Now, let me tell you. You will give her her desired score. 
and all the teachers in this school. Else I will leak your secret of how you've been sleeping with all the students in this school. I have evidence of all the ladies you've been sleeping around with in this school. Are you threatening me? This is not a threat. I, Copper Williams, do not threaten people. I have all the evidence. Sandra, come, let's go. And let the time bomb waiting to explode. What the f Sandra, no matter what, do not give in to whatever he says to you. I'm going to make him pay for those times that he has been a bad boy. He's not the only one doing this. Who else is involved? Mr. Kingsley. <laughs> he has been threatening me into sleeping with him as he will fail me again. That's not a problem. I can handle every one of them. You have me now. Hmm? Just cheer up, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. I'm in charge. I have to leave now. I have something important to attend to. Now give me a smile. Give me a smiling face. I'm crazy now. <laughs> See you later. You like him, right? I do. Yeah. He's my boyfriend, and I am his girlfriend. I don't want anything or anyone to come between us. I am willing to do away with anything and anyone that comes close to him. You inclusive. So stay away. I don't understand. Why do they laugh? Why is she laughing? Oh, please. Babe. Babe. She just mocked you. You mocked me. Wait, you're mocking me. Me. You mocked yourself by saying what you said and using empty threats on me. Empty threat. Sandra. If I see you close to Copper Williams again, I will mess you up. Don't even push me. Because I'm trying so hard to hold myself. We'll see about that. Babe, she don't move. Babe, I expected you to. You allowed that to leave. Ha. Don't worry, Grandma. I know when to strike. What if I say I don't know? She never moved and for his own. I dare it, I do my best here. I make sure I become the best here. But Prince Baron, my effort. You make sure I become. I don't understand. You the dumb you. What's in the happen now? Are you going to sit here and watch that girl take me away from you? That is not my issue, tell me. She's not a problem to me. It's Kopateshi. She has beaten more than she can chew. Kopateshi, what's in concern Kopateshi now? What's, what did she do? Can you imagine she had the guts to summon me to the staff room and ask me, Amanda, the head girl, why my sheet was empty? I mean, who does that? And what did you tell her? Of course, I gave her a befitting response. Babe. What if? What if? I'm just saying. What if they're more than friends? Ah. 
How come I didn't think of this? Sandra, you are both 18 years old, am I right? Yes, ma'am. So why can't you fight for injustice? You have been in this school for three years now, and you're very intelligent. How come? Same question I've asked myself, but I still can't understand anything. You need to fight for yourself, and you need to fight for injustice. Even if the person is bigger than you, you still need to fight for yourself. So you can leave this school. Aren't you tired? Yes, ma'am. I'll try my best to fight for myself from now onwards. Robin, you can go now. Poor girl. I pray her misery soon come to an end. I feel bad, like, she's very intelligent and she has been in this school for three years now. How come? Welcome to the school. You'll soon find out. I'm sorry for her. I feel so bad. The innocent girl and the wicked stepmother. You like it? Interesting story. Mm -hmm. We need to shut that girl up. But something in me is telling me she's going to talk. <laughs> Listen, babe. There's nothing we can do about that girl. She has backups. If we tamper with her, it will smell trouble. Really, Mr. Principal? You think? Or well, there is actually nothing you can do about it. Or you think I don't know you have feelings for her and you like her? What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is what you know. I know everything that happens in and out of the school. I know that you've been sleeping with the Chafilomena. Yes. And that you forced Sandra into your relationship which she rejected. I know everything. Who is feeding you with such lies? That is fabrication. Who is feeding me with such lies? Am I that stupid to you, sir? Hmm. You think that I know? I know everything that happens here. The fact that I decided to keep quiet does not mean I am stupid. I only kept quiet because I want to maintain my position as the CP and also the SP of the school. What do I stand to gain if I talk? Nothing. Because I want to keep getting high grade through you. Listen, babe. I've been listening. I have nothing to do with this girl. And there's nothing I can do about her. Like I told you before, if I raise a finger against her, it will smell big trouble. Yes. I will forgive you on one condition, Mr. Romeo. Do you want to know what that is? I'm listening. That you will feel her this time around again. That is not possible. You know I'm in a big mess already. Then you leave me with no choice. I will walk out of this office and you will never see or hear from me again. No, baby. Baby has not gotten to die. Do not. Touch me now. Get your hands up. Come on, listen to me. I'm not going into that. You know I can't disrespect you. You know what to do to make me happy. You know where to touch me. No, really? Yes. So you know all of this, yet you're claiming the hard guy. I'm not claiming anything, baby. Now for the Just last tell me what you want. time, will you do as I say? I will do it. I will. Come on. That sounds bad. I have a gift for you. What? Do you want to see it? I want. Do you want it? Yes, baby. Come on. Let me lock the door. Come on. Because I need to watch you for doing it. The choice is yours, just wisely. 
is your choice. What in people they do, they make me shock. I never see everybody when they're selfish like you. The principal. I think very well all these things you're doing. The principal. Why are you so mean? Why are you so wicked? Why are you so mean? Why are you so wicked? Cry yo, cry yo, mama. You make me cry yo. Cry yo, cry yo, mama. You make me cry. Cry yo. In capital letters, F O O L. Fools who think they have made it in life, not knowing that they were born to lose. Amanda, what is wrong with you? Why do you keep misbehaving? What do you even think you are? Okay. Okay, yes, yes, I can still stand here. Mm. Who else is here? Wait! Trees now talk? Oh my god. I'm so scared. Oh, so sorry. I mean, it's it's my fault. No, it, it is not my fault. I, I I didn't see you. You're so small and tiny. You're so irrelevant. So I couldn't see you. Oh gosh, Amanda, you're so I'm so so sorry. Okay, baby. Oh. Did you talk to me? No, did you talk when I was talking? Jesus Christ. So you, you now talk when your senior prefect and class prefect is talking. Really? Have we gotten to this point? Senior and class prefect, my fools. Listen, you are given a position you do not merit. At times, I wonder. What the principal sees in a dull headed Stop. Listen. This should be the last time you will try to hit my friend in front of me. Don't try it next time, Amanda. You just held my hand for the second time. The last time I let you go. But this time, I won't. I will report you to the principal. I will tell him that you've insulted me several times and you insulted me today while I was doing my duties as a senior prefect of the school. Do your word. Listen, the fact that I ignore you doesn't mean I'm a quiet girl. I just don't want to waste my parents' money by being expelled from this school. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> So you know that you're a waste and you've been wasting your parents' money as usual. I mean, look at you. You've spent three good years in the same class. You're not moving forward nor backward. You're just stagnant on the same spot. Now, what is wrong with you? You're a waste. Your parents should have spent the years that they used to, to conceive you in planting plantains. They would, have, they would have had a whole place to harvest from rather than wasting their time on you. Excuse me. It's okay, Sandra. Thanks for the help. You see, some people behave as if they are something when they are absolutely nothing. And we won't keep him quiet for them all this while. It's, it's just like a regular slap on our faces. But never mind. Okay? Listen, Obi. We shouldn't make our attitude or her actions be a hindrance to our bodies and our good deeds. We have to move ahead always and keep the bad energy inside. You are right. Let's do it.
Oh my God, Obi, oh Jessica, I'm so happy. I got straight A's. I'm so and I'm so happy for you. <laughs> of course, you know I'm happy for you. Congratulations to us, we all passed. Congratulations. <laughs> hey. Take it to me. I <laughs> oh, some people are happy why some people are angry. Oh, <laughs> oh you don't have to make um, jokes now. Sandra, please we stop. passed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. This is like a dream come true. Of yes. course. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Some people are happy, some people are crying. Hey! <laughs> Let them cry. Oh, Jesus. Let them cry. Oh, don't don't mind cry. them. Don't you have them. to make just of them now. Sandra, please stop. <laughs> the most important thing is we, we all pass. pass. <laughs> hey, hey. And let's go. Baby, what is it? What is what? What is what? You're asking me what is it? Why did you bring oh, that? Shut up. You're a very wicked man. Yes. What are you talking about? Why did you bring me out here? I have people to talk to. And people I want to attend to in the office. You have people to talk to? Yes. And I'm a goat. Am I not a person? Come eh? On, baby, you should understand what I'm saying. Don't baby me. I beg, don't, don't do that one with me. Mr. Ruby, you had the guts to fail me in the test. Ah. And you gave Sandra all those calls. Like, how could you do that to me? Why? Come on, baby, listen. I did nothing to Sandra's result. What she wrote is what she got. I know she's a brilliant student. So it's not my making. So you even lie now. You're Why? a blatant, pathetic liar, Mr. Twenty. But I regret you. You're a very stupid man. So you now lie to me. You don't only cheat on me, you lie to me as well. God will punish you for this nonsense that you just said now. Are you okay? Eh? Am, am I mad? There's something wrong with you. Eh -eh. Something is wrong with you. Why did you fail me? You were not able to write anything. You had scorched it was empty. This is the first time you've been fixing it. So fix this one. This, I will not warn you again. This is beyond fix, me. Fix this, this, one. this is beyond me. You won't see me again. Fix this. I don't want to come back. Fix this nonsense. We didn't know. We didn't know. Go and say that nonsense to the birds. I'm calm, I am, I am down, smarter just a test. and clever than this. Calm down. This is just a test. test. You calm. better fix this. One. I will just calm down. Don't touch me. Get your Baby, hands off me. Shut up. Get your hands off me. Am I that dumb to you? Go and say that trash to the birds and not me. Because I'm clever than that. Excuse me. Fix the choice is yours. Just wisely. It's your choice. What in people they do? They make me sure. I never see anybody when they're selfish like you. The principal. I take you very well. All these things you are doing. The principal. Yes, sir. I've sent the video, sir. But, sir, the girl is counting on you to restore her rights back, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a nice day, sir. Yeah. This is how those who are frustrating the lives of people will suffer for their sins. Sandra. Sandra. Didn't you hear me calling you? Or are you deaf? <laughs> Don't mind that she's upset that she failed. And who are you? for me to answer your call. Oh, who am I? I'm the school senior prefect girl. And of course, your class prefect. <laughs> Do I need to remind you? Mm. <laughs> I don't understand. What is it funny? Why are you laughing? Hold on, please. Me. So tell me why she is explaining herself to us when we already know who she is. <laughs> oh wait, Tema, this one talk. Hmm. No, you talk. 
Hmm. Now you open this mouth, talk. Hmm. You open this public trash. Talk to me. Jesus Christ. Okay. Eh? See, finish. No, you're talking when I'm talking. Hmm. When is it start now? When? Hmm. If, if I don't ah. slap this, this, your, this, your tiny mouth. Idiot. Don't try this nonsense again. Hmm. Okay. And you, Sandra, I can see you're so excited that you passed your test. Really? Hmm. Is that what matters? Hmm. What matters is the end exam. Not this cheap test that you pass and you're gallivanting the whole school mm. in excitement over this cheap test. Amanda, mm. how the term will end is me appearing in flying colors in this school. Mm. <laughs> okay. Now it's, it's the confidence for me. Now you think you're going to make it. Watch out and see. Mm. You will fail. For the fourth time. Oh yes. Sandra here is going to get what she deserves. <laughs> let's let's watch out then. We'll see about that, Amanda. Time will tell, Amanda. Of course. Excuse me. Let's go. Yo, excuse, baby. <laughs> you know I have the school in my palms, right? I know what to do. Just watch out and see. They don't understand. Why you allow them pass now? You allow them to leave again. I think she has a point. Because the people whom I look up to, the principals and the others, they, they are on chains now and I can't control them. On chains? How? I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand you. I think I need to go and see the principal. I get also. But principal ruled my effort. He makes sure I become not enough. So listen, girls. I'm so, so happy that Copa Williams has stopped what I've been passing through in this school. Like, I'm so happy. Yes, he's a nice man. Indeed, he's a blessing to you and to other students in this school. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, you're right. From the very first day he was introduced to us in class by the principal, I saw a good man in him. <laughs> Jessica, the see You saw. <laughs> um, sorry, Sandra. I'm thinking about something. What? Why is Copa Williams helping you out? Oh, because I'm intelligent and I deserve it. And three years in the same class is not a cupcake. Repeating the same class for three years is not a piece of cake. So it's enough for him to do what he's doing for me. Yeah, I think she's right. Mm -hmm. She deserves it. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I think he likes you. Like, oh, please. Listen, girls, I cannot stand here and discuss this right now. I have to go home. Sandra. She's actually running from this discussion. Maybe she's running because she do not like him. And what gave you the impression that he likes her? Hmm. Madam supporter, let's go. We're <laughs> late. I never see anybody when they're selfish like you. The principal, I think very well. All these things you're doing. The principal, why are you so mean? Why are you so wicked? Why are you so mean? Why are you so wicked? You know, they see the Copa Williams and the uh, Ogolobolo, no, the car, no, the who is Bolobolo? Teresa now. Hey, it's not Teresa. Uh -huh. Teresa. See, mind your business. I've warned you before. Mind your business. Uh -huh. Yes, I should mind my business. Me will be saying I'm maybe the NTA of the school. NTA of the school. Madam. I mean, they see everything now. I said, mind your business. And they don't carry uh, the agri file come out to. Agri the back. Mind your business, madam. I warned you before. Mind your business. Papa Williams is not in school and he has left. So what's your business in it? They don't carry a Greek files them, come on. Madam, I've warned you before, mind your business. I'm hungry and let's go. 
I see, you know what? 50 for bottle. I'll go see the bottle. Oh, let's go. 150 for bottle. I get more. Sometimes what in people they do they make me shock. Hey, I never see anybody when they say fish like you. They miss me. Think very well all these things you are doing. They miss me. Why are you so mean? Why are you so wicked? Babe, what's up? I don't understand. I don't understand. Why would the principal let you down like this? Tell me, don't worry. I'll get first in the exam. This is just a test. Relax. I'm on this and I be fuck up, I swear. That man fuck up. Osha. See. I know see that girl. I know Sandra will be so excited right now. She'll be very happy that a whole school prefect got zero. Ha. Babe, now fuck up, I swear. I don't know how you know they say I'm like that, man. I fuck up. I'll talk to the principal and of course Mr. Kingsley. They have to fix this. I can't have that girl mocking me. No. I was born to win. I am born to be first. I was born to be first. I'm not dragging down anybody. I'll have it. I hope so. Let's go. Uh -uh. I don't understand. Why are you going to push me now? It's going to happen. Thank you very well. All these things you are doing. The principal. Why are you so mean? Why are you so wicked? Why are you so mean? Why are you so weak? You make me cry. You make me cry. You make me cry. You make me cry. Sometimes, what in people they do, they make me shock. I never see anybody when they say fish like you. The principal. Think very well. All these things you are doing. The principal. Why are you so mean? Why are you so wicked? Why are you so mean? You make me cry. Cry. It was a very big shame, Mr. Romeo, where we got the information of the activities of Mr. Romeo, of how you are embarrassing the young female students, trying to sleep with them and sleeping with them against their wish in order for them to get high grades. We do not take this information for granted. We sent teacher Chede as an undercover. And he gave us several details concerning what is happening in the school. We did not stop at that. We went further to send Kopateshi and Kopa William. That was why Kopateshi was able to get the video of you, Mr. Romeo, sleeping with the girls. And Kopa William was able to get the plot of Amanda sleeping with Mr. Romeo, Peter Kinsley, and Peter Philomena. Your plot with the principal, Mr. Romeo, to fail Sandra for three consecutive years. You are a disgrace. You are not supposed to be teacher. Your plot, for your selfish reasons, with the principal, to continuously fail Sandra has come to an end. For this reason, Peter Kinsley, Peter Philomena, and the principal, they have all been dismissed. Ah, and I would make sure that there's no government school and any parastata that will consider you for appointment. 
That is the end of it. But I said, Come on, you know, I'm good to you now. Teacher, teach you. Shut up. Keep quiet. Sir, please, I beg you. Oh, sir, please, please. My family, my family will go hungry. Where is Amanda? <laughs> Come here. Kupa, Kupa, William, I need to take care of you people now. Shut, 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 shut. You to me, I, 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 I... Shh. Amanda, for bringing this institution to this report, you have been suspended for six weeks. Huh? And at the expiration of your suspension, you shall be demoted to SS1. Hmm. And I will personally detail Teacher Chede to supervise you. After some years, we we'll consider your performance and know whether it calls for review. Those use their things on your eyes. Before you come back to this school, make sure they are removed. Where is Sandra, please? Miss, it's unfortunate that you have been humiliated over these years. Your action is well noted and commendable and you'll be adequately compensated i'll give this feedback to the excellency but i want to assure you they are going to be branded they are going to be a brand they are going to serve as the eye of young females within the educational sector Please consider me. I'm begging you. Come on, you know I should tell you before you go. I think come on, we learn that. I should tell you before you go. Thank you very well. All these things you're doing, the Christmas. Why are you so mean? Why are you so wicked? Why are you so mean? I'm so happy. This is like a dream come true. Sandra, I'm super excited for you, and I'm also proud of you. Me too. I thank God, finally you have been vindicated. Congratulations. <laughs> Her mommy is gone. <laughs> oh, is that oh, nice? Shame on her. Oh. Almighty principal. Mm. <laughs> Oh. Bye. Goodbye, Ma. Please go. <laughs> just go, just go, just go, just go. Hmm. Sasa. Go and cut. Please love me. Ah, beat me. Let's go. I'm glad you are happy now. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, girls. I'm glad you've finally been vindicated. So all what you need to do now is study hard and come out with flying colors, okay? Of course. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, ma. Study hard, eh? Yes, Thank you. Oh, okay. Let's not waste this time and go and look for Copa Williams and competition. That's true. Let's the, go. Let's go. They deserve our appreciation. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Why are you laughing? Don't mind me. I'm just reminiscing on all the things we've been through in the school. Right. Yeah. So much drama. Sure. Yeah. But let me ask you. Okay. Tell me how much you love me. It's good. Okay, 80%. 80? No, 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 don't mind me, don't mind me. 100. 100? 100 <laughs> is too small. How about, say, 1,000? Oh, that's much. No, no, no. Do I love you like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. <laughs> how about you make it 2,000? <laughs> Teshi. What the do? Please, will you marry me? Say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes. <laughs> say 
yes, Kopateshi. Mr. Williams is a very good man. And you're a good woman too. Yes, please say yes to Mr. Williams. He's a very good man and he will make you happy. <laughs> please say yes. Say yes to Copa Williams. I can't wait to attend your wedding. Thank you, darling. Yes. What are you waiting for? Please. Yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Congratulations to you both. Thank, thank you very you. much, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. thank you, sir. I say, I really want to thank you for sanitizing the school. And also, mm -hmm. congratulations to you for engaging to be <laughs> as husband and wife. Thank you very much. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much, Teacher Chidi, for what you did, for going undercover to save me and this school. Sandra, you deserve the best. Okay, and I didn't do it alone. Yes, sir. I've sent the video, sir. But, sir, the girl is counting on you to restore her rights back, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a nice day, sir. Yeah. This is how those who are frustrating the lives of people will suffer for their sins. Teshi. I'm fine. I'm okay. Yes, yes, I've even sent it. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Please, please, you have to do everything possible because yeah. the Commissioner of Education is very worried. He needs these videos and the evidences because we need to nail those men. Yeah. Exactly. There is no time on our side. At all. We need to get more evidence. Good. Please. You know, they believe I am with them, but they never knew I'm walking undercover. My point now is that I'm really, really feeling for Sandra. That girl has gone through a lot in this school. Imagine spending three years in secondary school. Because of one person's selfishness. Because of his selfish interest. That's bad. All right, I think we boosted that. People will find us here. All right, okay. We did it for you. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Papa Williams, for what you did for me. I really appreciate you a lot. Oh, you don't have to thank me. You have to thank all three of us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we did it for you and every other girls out there who have been molested by those pedophiles in the Nigerian society. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome, my dear. Thank you, sir. The choice is yours, choose wisely. It's your choice. 